Hello folks, here we are today in Rome and we are walking past some amazing monuments in the history of Rome, some of which denote bloodier and darker times in history where people lost their lives. So you've got these huge throwbacks to the historical ancient Rome, massive Colosseum and other ruins. But what I want to draw attention to today is this palace on Palatine Hill. This palace was the palace of Caesar Augustus, the first Roman emperor. I'm sure it was a very lavish place back in its day. But the reason I want to draw our attention to it today is because this was the emperor that decreed that everyone in the Roman world must register for tax purposes. Caesar Augustus was the one that sent out this decree from this place in his palace in Rome. And what happened as a result of this need for registration? Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem to do so, which inadvertently fulfilled the prophecy of Scripture that, that they would be in Bethlehem. And this is what we read in Luke chapter 2. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Don't you think it's amazing how that decree, that action, from Rome, the Roman Emperor Augustus, directly affected them in Israel and also led to the fulfilment of Bible prophecy. And I just think it's amazing the consequence of all these different decisions throughout history and at the time of the Messiah that led to all these prophecies being fulfilled. You can just see how sovereign God is over everything. And that's something that makes me very hopeful because I know that I can rely on Jesus Christ, on our God in heaven, when I feel fearful, when I feel anxious, when I am confused by circumstances and can't understand what God's plan is in different things. We know that God is above all and he sovereignly uses everything for his glory and for our own good. So I want to give you this message of hope today from Rome and thank you for listening. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all.